822 here, Big 550 KTRS. Gail Pennington is a TV critic extraordinaire for their hometown newspaper, sdltoday.com. Good morning, Gail Pennington. Good morning, McGraw Mill Evans. Good morning, Gail. Oh, hi, Kelly. (laughs) Uh, First off, let's talk about The Good Wife. Did you see this coming? And what a controversy this is. No one saw it coming, but we have to really seriously, spoilers, people. If you have not seen it last night, put your fingers in your ears and go la 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 for a while. This is a spoiler alert of the mega proportion. All right. Um, All right, good. They're uh, officially turned down the radio. Um, uh, the, the The lead male character was killed in the courtroom she was shot by some some deranged was client shot by right one. uh and so people are up in arms over this they are but um i read some background on it last night afterwards and it's it's that josh charles who played the character um who played will um wanted to end to to leave after the end of last season and they talked him into coming back for this season, and then they would write him out in a spectacular way. And they did. <laughs> I mean, people are seeking counseling after this? They are. They are. <laughs> they're, in, they're already in therapy. <laughs> Bones ringing off the hook. Is it true that they're actually planning his funeral on Twitter? Probably, yes. Wow. Oh, my goodness. People are really into Is that that good of a show? It's, it's, a, very, it's a very good show. Uh, it's... It's inarguably the best drama on network TV. Hmm. All right. Hmm. Well, well, fair enough. Uh, but, it, you know, that's sort of a thing shows do now. Have you noticed that they kill off their, their characters? Big splash. You the, used to think the hero was always safe, but right. not so much. The Game of Th- Thrones theory type of deal? Yeah, exactly. The House of Cards theory? Mm-hmm. Um, is uh, Chris Noth still on that show? He he was never a regular. He played he played the husband, right? And he's the governor, and he's on from time to time. Gotcha. All right, I like Chris. Yeah. I, I I like Big. Yeah. Yeah. He's right. he's he's the goods. Um, oh, you're still clinging to your Sex in the City. <laughs> I am too, though. <laughs> admittedly, uh, I end up watching it. Still, when, when it's on, I watch it. It's a great. It's in no, the cleaned up in the cleaned up version. Yeah, I sit through the commercials too. It's <laughs> so terrible. Why? I'm the worst. <laughs> <laughs> All right, um, Josh Elliott gonna get wanting eight million dollars to host Good Morning America. You know what? I honestly did not know his name. I did not know that man's name, uh, and after. Um, Frank, your producer Frank, sent me an email about that. I turned on Good Morning America and looked at him. Yes. Oh, he is not worth it. I he agree. is not worth it. I agree. Well, you know what, though? I kind of, I don't know about eight, maybe six. I like him. I think he's really generic. Vanilla, See, plain. I don't think so. Nondescript. No. No. He can't, no, no. No substance to him. I disagree. But Well, clearly Kelly has the most... Uh, knowledge of him. I mean, I, who cares of knowledge? That doesn't matter. <laughs> I watch him on GMA, and I think he has a great relationship with Robin and George, and I think they Who's all the work really Who's well the together. Girl? The girl who took Sam Champion's place. Yeah, or no, the girl Sarah. Remember. Who's the blonde girl on that show? Lara Spencer. Laura Spencer. Oh, Lara. Okay. Yeah. And he and Lara get. A, you know, they have a great relationship. Okay. I, See, I knew the names Lara Spencer and Robin Roberts. I did not know his name. So here's the here's the here's the interesting thing about the whole morning show is my family, my sisters, were at today's show. I mean, you would have to rip the television out of the wall before the they would allow you to change the channel from the Today Show. Mm-hmm. They've all switched to Good Morning America. Which is on, oh. uh, which is, I mean, and it, which sort of goes with everyone else. Are they annoyed with Matt Lauer? Or? Uh, yeah, they didn't. They didn't like the way they they treated the um, Ann Curry leaving. Uh huh. They were all so upset with still, that. They're still. It surprises about that. me that people are still holding a grudge. I know. Yeah, I mean, people are not still not digging that. Uh, but I, so you know what? If he can get it, great. It isn't coming out of my pocket. But yeah. g- God love him. Uh, what's coming up on the show or this the, the, this week TV wise? We we should watch. This one of those sort of weeks that are right in the middle. Um, we've got um, a new comedy on Thursday night on Fox called Surviving Jack. It stars Chris Maloney, who was on Law & Order SVU for right. years and years and years. Um, it's set in the 1990s. It's cute. It's about a surgeon who stays, to, stays home to take care of his kids after his wife goes back to law school, his teenage kids. 
And so, he, but I mention it because the co-creator is Patrick Schumacher, and he's a St. Louis native. He's a Priory graduate. Oh, he's also related to um, Farmer Dave Schumacher. Is he? I don't know. I don't think <laughs> so. But they have the same an last name. <laughs> <laughs> it's an odd spelling of Schumacher, so probably not. <laughs> they have the same last name, so why not? Uh, um, all right, good. So uh, we'll check out that that those those previews look pretty good, actually. It's um, it's paired with the results show of American Idol. So I think it's going to get a lot of sampling this week. Is anybody still watching American Idol? Mm. Uh, yes. A lot of people are still watching it, although nobody's much talking about it anymore. Yeah, all right. Um, are you watching Cosmos? That is so fantastic of a show. You know, I think it's great, too, and I, I got behind on it during my vacation. But um, I think it's going to be wonderful to watch for people to get the DVD and and just watch it straight through, and uh, you know your big screen, and it'll be. I'm mesmerized by the beginning, just the whole beginning, where they're showing the credits and the pictures and the mm -hmm. views. Uh, that's fantastic. That's on Sunday night, so I would. Someone said on my chat last week that they felt talked down to by it, and I didn't think it was like that at all. I didn't think so. Yeah. Well, they should be talking down to us because we don't know what they're talking about. So it's <laughs> sort of educational in and of itself. <laughs> So, all right. Uh, Sunday Gail, nights are ridiculously busy on TV. They I, are. I had, to, I had to move some stuff off Sundays last night to get it all recorded. I'm not watching uh, Amazing Race. How's that going? Oh, it's really good. Is it? Yeah. It's a re it's a, I like the all-stars. I like knowing all the people when you start out. Right. Is it, <laughs> it, seems like, it seems like all the all-stars are from the one show. Maybe not. So they're just... No, I just think we combine them in our minds. Gotcha. Mm -hmm. right. You can start watching now, though. It's okay since you already know the people. Uh, when can we read you? When can we see you, Gail Pennington? I will be in the Friday Go section and Sunday A&E, and I will have a live chat on Thursday. That's Gail Pennington, ladies and gentlemen. Gail, have a good week. You too. 829, Big 550, KTRS.